Hi, I'm Jenna. I'm Mo. Today we're having the sex talk. The sexy sex talk. <laughs> Sex talk. Today we're going to talk about what it means to have a successful relationship, and this is a little bit different than the other one of how to have a successful relationship. Right, right, right. This, this is, is more about um, how we as a society measure successful relationships, and mm -hmm. the reason I wanted to do this is because a lot of times I hear people that have gotten out of a relationship, whether it be six month relationship that they mm -hmm. had or a twelve year relationship that they yeah. had. And they have this attitude like, oh, that was a failed relationship. I, I totally catch myself feeling like this too. Yeah. Um, it's such an old, antiquated idea that a successful relationship means what your great-grandparents did or your grandparents perhaps, where they're together for 50 years and then they die together. And, and that was the ideal at that point in time. I think you hit the nail on the head with the die together. The person that you die with is the relationship that this somehow is the successful yeah. one. But I don't think that that's necessarily true. Like, you know, like if you had a high school sweetheart, I know a lot of people that had high school sweethearts and they're still friends. You know, that was just who they needed at the time. That mm -hmm. was the, the person that was mo most compatible with them at the time. But then it's true that we don't judge high school sweethearts by that standard. We're like, oh, but they were high school sweethearts. Nobody's like, that's a failed relationship. <laughs> right. Because you're young, you get a pass you're for not you're... being with them till you die. Right, right. Is that it? Because you're pre-adult. I guess so, yeah. You're pre-18. Mm -hmm. But any relationship that you have at, after 18 that doesn't end in marriage is a failure. Well, yeah, it's a failure. Well, that wasn't meant to be. I still look back at some relationships and, and see them that way. Yeah. And that's not right. That's not fair. It's a yeah. lot of pressure. Yeah. Yeah. It makes and, you feel like an asshole. Well, I think the reason we do that is because we want to give ourselves a reason to remember why we're not in that relationship anymore. That person was controlling. That person lied. That person cheated. Mm -hmm. um, the reasons we're not with that person anymore and we're mm -hmm. with this person now or we're single now yeah. is a, they're good reminders. They of, were not the one. They weren't the one. They were not know? the one. But I have a kind of a different way of looking at it. And I think that like, yeah, I was with a lot of people and I'm like, oh my God, what was I thinking? <laughs> but at the time I was thinking like, I'm into this person. They're giving me something that mm -hmm. feels like what I need right now. Right. That's true. We kind of like actually dumb ourselves down and, you know, and say, oh, I had poor judgment back then. Right. As opposed to maybe you didn't have poor judgment. Maybe that's just where you were and you weren't like as evolved or as mature or as maybe you, grown and changed. And even so, maybe you just had something to learn. Yeah. Maybe that's how you learned something. Mm -hmm. Whatever you did during that time got you and has made you where you are today mm -hmm. and who you are today. I mean, I know sometimes when you look back at all the relationships you've been in, you can feel like a failure. Yeah. Like not, like especially if you're single at the time and you're like, not one of those worked out. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. I'm still single. Look. Wow. Yeah, I'm not going As opposed to dying. recognizing that you're single, being single is part of this long life you're going to live and yeah. the growth process that you're going to experience at every stage of, of your life. Yeah, and being single, you're in a relationship with yourself. For a reason. I mean, those are the times when you get to really focus on yourself and grow. And yeah. So those times yeah. are really important too, and it's not because you're a failure. And as cliche as it sounds, it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. And that, my friends, <laughs> is the <a> sex talk. <laughs> the sex talk. The sex talk.